Let's see how to fabricate a PCB physically. These are the equipment and machines that we can use in this fabrication. For the safety, we should use hand gloves. Next, we use sticker paper to print our design circuit. We use paper cutter to cut our printed circuit from the sticker paper. This is a single layer copper board. So we use this one to fabricate our PCB. We use brassol liquid to clean the copper board before using the fabrication process. So next we use a saw to cut our copper board in correct size. This is a clothing iron. This one is used to stick our printed circuit to the copper board. Here, the sticking process is performed using heating process. This is thinner liquid. Actually, this one is used to clean the copper board after fabrication. During the fabrication process, we need to remove unwanted copper parts from the PCB. So we use ferric chloride liquid for this removing process. This brush is also used to clean the copper board. This is a black color permanent marker. So this one is used to draw the erased copper traces before applying ferric chloride liquid to the copper board. Here, we are using this kind of plastic cup to mix ferric chloride and water in copper removing process. To clean the copper board surface during the fabrication process, we use this kind of piece of cloth. This is a drilling machine, so this one is used to make holes of the PCB at the end of fabrication. Actually, this process must be done before soldering process. So, this is the uh, printed circuit on the sticker paper. Now we are going to mark the relevant sizes of our PCB. So likewise we can uh, use a pencil to mark the boundaries. After we use a saw to cut the mark boundaries. This is the copper board that we uh, cut to use the fabrication process. Now we have to put on the hand blouses. First of all, we have to clean the copper board using brass oil liquid. Here, this copper board has uh, some kind of dust uh, on the surface. So we use clean piece of cloth to the cleaning process.
This is the copper board surface after applying the brass hole liquid. Now we are going to stick the printed circuit on the copper board. First of all, we have to use a tape to fix the paper to the copper board. In this step, we are going to perform the sticking process. Actually, we use heating method to print the circuit on the copper board by heating the sticker paper. So, as you can see, this one shows the result of after ironing process. During the heating process, the traces are printed on the copper board. To check the result, we have to uh, sink our PCB in water cup to remove the sticker paper. Before, we have to remove this tape. Likewise, we can sink the copper board in water and after few minutes, we can remove the sticker paper from the board. After sinking the board in water cup, this kind of result we will receive. As you can see, the printed circuit is stick on the copper board. But during the previous process, some traces were erased. So we have to draw those parts uh, using a permanent marker. But uh, this one should be done before applying the ferric chloride to the copper board. Now you can see I have uh, filled the erased part in this PCB. The next step is about applying ferric chloride to the copper bowl. Here, we are using a plastic cup to mix the water and ferric chloride. Actually, in this step, the ferric chloride liquid will remove unwanted copper sections in PCB.
Now we are going to sink the board in ferric chloride liquid. As you can see, the black color copper part not removed, but other copper sections are removed in this copper board. Now we have to clean the copper board. So we use water to remove the ferric chloride from the surface of the design. PCB. After that, we are using clean piece of cloth to clean the water from the surface. Now you can see the black color was not removed from the copper board. So to remove the black color from the copper board, we can use thinner liquid. Now you can see our fabrication is successful. So the next step is about the drilling process. This step should be done before performing the soldering process. Likewise, we have to perform this drilling process in correct manner. Okay, now this is our final outcome of the PCB fabrication after performing the drilling process.